Le VTGN. Hello YouTube, this is NevicDZN, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very cool logo for game battles in Photoshop CS5. So first you're going to want to open up a new document, or Control N, do 300 by 200 pixels. Color mode, make sure it's RGB color. And put background contents white, but I'm going to change that. So first you're going to unlock this layer, so just double click it, click OK. Get the paint bucket, go to this little color panel and click on the black white thing. Fill the background with white and if the if the gradient is open, just click on the left mouse, just hold it, go to paint bucket. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create a new layer down here. Then we're gonna get our brush. I will have this brush in the description by the way. Hold on. Get my brush called kinetic brush they're pretty good grunge brushes for backgrounds so I'm going to use the one that's 362 pixels so first I'm going to change the color I'm just going to make this logo red so just draw on the outsides and next thing you're going to do you're going to go to filter render lighting effects make the circle as big as you want I'm going to do it like that so now it's like fading away on the sides and makes it look like a circle. Next thing, you're just going to go to the text and make it white. And we put, just put Nevik DZN. And I'm going to do the font whoop ass. Sounds like a bad font, but I think it acts, it's actually pretty sick. I see how the letters are kind of spaced out. You can just click on this right here, the character, or you can just go to Window, Character. We're just going to select that, spread it out a little. I'm going to Move Tool, move right to the middle. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some cool effects in Epic DCN. I know a lot of people use Bevel and Boss, but it makes the logo look pretty bad and unoriginal. So these are the settings that I use. Usually do drop shadow. I do it 90 degrees. Do inner shadow 90 degrees. And I do a gradient overlay. Right, you click on this and do the white to transparent or whatever foreground to transparent one. Right, you know, I'm gonna do. Yeah, just foreground it transparent. And I'm doing hold on. Do it outer glow. Make it red. Make it a little little cool. Might not see it that much, but and once I'm done that, I'm gonna make another new layer. I'm, I'm gonna make a big gloss around the top. Like right around there. So you're gonna go to your pen tool or P. And I'm gonna click around here. Try to make it straight, as straight as possible. And click somewhere in the middle, hold control, and you can drag and make like a little circle, or a half circle. And just fill it, right click, fill path, foreground color, it would be white. Okay, next thing I'm gonna drag it under the Nevic DCN layer, I'm gonna lower the opacity to about 20. Okay, 21. Then I'm gonna move it up a little. Then once you've done that, I usually just put Nevic my little logo that I made. Nevic for Nevic designs. Just put it in there. Resize it, control T. If you ever want to resize something, do the shortcut, control T. That's pretty much how you make a pretty cool Game Battles logo. And you can do a lot more stuff to it, but I'll be making more tutorials on how to do more stuff in Photoshop. So remember, please subscribe and have a nice day. Nevik DZN out.